This is my 300 gallon turtle stock tank. And today I'm going to be fixing some things up. So I've noticed that Pee Wee, the giant redder slider you just saw crawl into the water there, has been crawling through this lay box here with dirt in it over this, I think, and up over there to get in with Susan. And as you can see, there's it's divided here with egg crate light diffuser. And Pee Wee is very aggressive towards Susan because Susan's another female and for some reason Pee Wee doesn't like other females. So I think I'm gonna add another board right here. So I need to measure that out and I think, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do that, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna put a piece of wood right here and a piece of wood right there coming up and attach it that way. And then I'm thinking that I'm gonna work on the lay box. So as you can see, this dirt here that I have in the soil is like super saturated and stagnant and just like gross in there. And the problem is like water comes in to the tub because the tub's actually drilled onto the wood. Not a great idea on my part. So what I'm thinking I need to do is I need to raise up the tub and that would mean cutting this around here. So just to kind of have it open all around, which doesn't, you know, there's no reason why those are really there. And then to extend the legs in a way. So I'm gonna get cutting on that, but first I'm going to work on this here.
Any reasons the the tub isn't this ugly green color it's it blends in with the rest of everything else so that's really nice and then obviously it's not flooding in there I mean the soil is super moist but that's because it's the same soil I think it'll eventually dry out and then it doesn't take up as much space out here so it looks m much more open this way sadly this is higher which I'm gonna keep it that way but that's unfortunate I think it, it doesn't look the best but it's just a lot better for this whole system I think so that's pretty cool and I'm glad I could do it It was actually a pretty easy fix and obviously I still have these marigolds so the marigolds aren't safe for turtles to eat I believe but the turtles aren't like eating them or anything so i'm just gonna leave them so are irises so irises are also you can't feed turtles irises but i'm i mean i have a bunch of irises so i'm just gonna have them there and they're not hurting anything so from here there's not a whole lot i need to do besides block off this area which i'm not i think what i'm gonna do is just take this thing and set it there for now so or yeah that's pretty much it so that's the food i normally feed the zoom aquatic turtle diet and i'll just set that right there so now peewee should not be able to get out in any way and you can see the green pond much more so yeah <laughs> but i think that's a very cool system and then it's not connected to this piece of wood but it is wedged in there so it is wedged in between the top of this as you can see on the sides there and the the stand it's it's holding on so there's about a half an inch gap in between that type of stuff so uh, if it you know the water goes really high as it is like this is about as high as the water will get right now so if it does do like that then it won't really float but if it did then it's going to stay in basically the same place so it won't just float away it's not completely filled with soil because the thing is it will rain and water will get in here and that's why i added a drainage layer but not as big of a drainage layer as there used to be this is all the leftover stone so the soil's a lot deeper for the turtle to lay egg she hasn't but she does spend quite a lot of time in there so hopefully when the soil's drier like not completely dry but just drier that will help and then also now there is a bit of stones mixed in there which i think is kind of good maybe that'll help uh keep the soil aerated or something but this is the girl this is kiwi and then maybe i'll try to figure out something very similar for over here for susan so like just to sit back in there as well a bit of a lay box because susan's also a large female there is kiwi enjoying the lay box it's been a couple days i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i know it's a little bit different i didn't talk the whole time but i imagine that you guys kind of get annoyed of my voice so it was kind of more of a, I don't know, you just heard what I was doing, I guess. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I just want to talk about Susan a little bit. So Susan's the large yellow boy slider. I just saw her. And here is Susan. And I, I was going to talk about this in a weighing video. I think that's the video right before this, I believe. 
and I didn't because that video is like crazy long, but here's Susan, and Susan, like around her neck is kind of puffy, and back here, you can kind of see some like wounds there, and then there was wounds on top of her head. It looks like it's already healed, so that is because of Pee Wee. Obviously, it's not as bad now because she's actually had time to heal, but what Pee Wee was doing is she was climbing on top of that tub and then over this and then into here and like i said peewee is very aggressive towards larger female turtles or even just mature female turtles for some reason i've never really witnessed this until this summer she's been really aggressive towards them so i can't have her in with turtles like susan or other female red eared sliders but she seems to do just fine with any males and really small turtles so that's kind of interesting but that just shows goes to show that different turtles have different personalities so right now i have susan as well as rebecca and black whip all in this area and they do fine together and they're all adult female turtles so it just goes to show the different personalities and the the aggression that can happen with turtles. Turtles can really hurt each other, even though, I mean, she doesn't hurt Lewis, but she could really hurt those females. So you gotta be careful, you gotta pay attention to your animals and know who they can be housed with. Turtles are a special group because generally you can house them, you can cohabitate them, which is really cool. And one of the reasons I love turtles because I can have like a bunch of turtles in one tank. Not exactly the same with lizards and snakes and stuff. So. Hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, like down below. If you have any comments or concerns, leave comments below. And if you want more content, then subscribe. Have a fantastic day.